Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And this is something that I wanted to do in 2021. Now's a better time than ever to show our community on our Discord, Instagram, Twitter, and all of that some appreciation and showcase some of the awesome setups that they have. And maybe you guys can take some inspiration from it. I know I sure have. And I'll even showcase my own setup, which has gone through a few more iterations as well. So it looks a little bit better now than it did a long time ago. And it's been a while. So I think it's about time we showcase everyone's setups. And if you want to submit your own for future, feel free to join the Discord. And there's a channel called Setup Submissions that you can post your setups. There's a template that you can follow and it's really easy. So if you want your setup to be showcased on the channel, feel free to join the Discord. I'll link that down below as well. But anyways, let's jump into it. Hey guys, this is Betty from Switch and Click and I know we haven't really done anything like this on the channel before and I know usually at this time we'll have another episode of Snaz Up Your Setup which is a series where I showcase cool different tech, accessories, desktop things that you can spruce up your setup with. But in this episode, we're going to be showcasing some of the community setups, uh, what peripherals they use, what computer, PC, all that stuff. And it'll be a great time to just appreciate what this community has become over time. And it's really grown. So I remember in the beginning when I started this channel that I reached out to viewers and the audience and asked if they would like to submit their own keyboard, their own custom keyboards. And, you know, I got rejected pretty badly. Someone even said something like, so you expect us to send you our own stuff so that you can make content with for free? And after that, I was just like, well, I'm never gonna do this again. So um, it was sort of heartbreaking and it was really frustrating, but at the same time, uh, I guess it just really shut me down. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do user submitted anything ever again, because I guess it's just me being selfish, wanting other people to showcase their stuff. But anyways, I think this community is really connected and it, there's just a bunch of nice people out there. And we got a bunch of setup submissions, so I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate you guys. I know it's the time of the year for thanking and appreciating and giving. So thank you so much. And we're gonna have a lot more giveaways coming soon. Got some really good things planned. Um, but anyways, let's just jump into the different setups that we got here, okay? And then I'll do mine at like the very end because it's nothing special. All right, so first submission we have is by Cyphoid Process. And he is on our Discord. So if you want to jump in and say hi, go ahead. But he is using a 2017 HP Spectre X360, which is a laptop. The monitor is an LG 29UM68-P and he places it right above the laptop. So sort of a dual monitor setup going on here. The peripherals are a 2013 Razer Black Widow. I had that too. A Razer Ouroboros mouse, Razer Orb Weaver gamepad, and a GK68XS keyboard and Wacom One pad. And he also has the Anpro two in the sleeve on the left, but it's not being used currently because of his new keyboard. The phone mounted on the side is a Razer phone. Honestly, I didn't even know they made phones, so that's pretty cool. The headset is the Sony XM3s, the ANC ones. The chair is by Nitro Concepts and the desk, which I think is the coolest part, is DIY. And the wrist rest is also DIY, which is made from some packaging material, foam, and an old sheet. So very versatile here, very creative with the desk and the wrist rest as well. I love being able to DIY things, although me, myself, personally, I don't do that stuff, but I really support people that do. All right, the next setup is by Flower, and he has a very simple setup. It's very clean, very nice, something that I would have really liked to have myself in my college years, or even now, really. It's very clean and it doesn't take a ton of space either. 
So he's got two monitors rocking a dual monitor setup, and they're both Asus VG278QR 27 inch and 144 hertz. Great for gaming. The mouse is a HyperX Pulsefire Surge, and the keyboard is a Drop Alt with Novel Key Creams lubed with Crytox 205G0. Great combination. And the keycap set on it is the NP Profile PBT Crayon keycap set. The lights on the top on the wall are Nano Leaf panels. Very pricey. Wish I had some. The chair is from Staples, Terrence Mesh. And the headset is one of my favorites, the HyperX Cloud 2 headset. But these are the Cloud 9 editions, which rock a different colorway than their usual black and white. And the PC specs are a i5-6600K with HyperX DDR4, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a gigabyte RTX 2070 for the GPU. So really clean setup, love it. Love the lights on top and how it's just very versatile. Next, we have a setup by Gypsy. And honestly, this is one of the most impressive setups that I've ever seen for on our Discord server. I wasn't expecting it, but it's very impressive and props to him. Props to everyone who really submitted their setups. I'm, I really like seeing what other people are doing with their space or different accessories that I can check out and things like that too. There's two monitors, one main one and then one horizontal one on the side. The main one is the Asus VG249Q. It's also 144 Hertz and IPS as well. So none of that glare stuff. The second one, which is the vertical one, the Dell U2419H is 60 Hertz, but it's also IPS. The keyboard is a custom ID80 with T1 switches, which is lubed and filmed. And T1s, you need to lube and film them stock. They're just so shaky. There's a custom acrylic bottom with PBT keycaps and a custom cable and custom wrist rest as well. The mouse, he goes between the MX Master 2s and the Razer Viper Ultimate for gaming. The speakers are Swan Hi-Vi D1010 IV bookshelf speakers. The chair is an ergonomic chair from a local brand. Same with the table. And the PC is, and the PC looks really good and well developed. The case is an NZXT 410 with a Ryzen 5 3600 XT CPU all placed on the Asus Prime X470 Pro motherboard. There are 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 3200 mHz CL16 RAM. It's a lot of RAM. The GPU is the Gigabyte G1 Gaming 1063 gigabytes. And there's a lot of storage as well, 500 gigabytes in a Samsung SSD, as well as a Seagate HDD as well. The power supply is 650 watts of Seasonic Prime Plus, and it's gold and full modular. For cooling, we got the Noctua NHD15S fans. The purple ambient light in the back really just pulls everything together. And we also have some headphones hanging on the bottom of the table. And these are the Bayer Dynamic Custom 1 Pros with a custom cable. And it's powered by the FIO E10K deck and amp combo. So an extremely clean setup. Everything comes well together. All right, on to the Buddy from Switch and Click setup. And it's really simple. I definitely need to change the blinds in the back to something that reflects light a little better or is quite soft and less harsh and old looking. So I'm thinking softer blinds and then get some LEDs on the back of the monitor, but we'll see. Might take a while for that to happen. Also, the speakers definitely need an upgrade. All right, so we'll start with the single monitor. I used to have two, but we did end up getting robbed during our cross the country drive. So now we each have one monitor. This is the Acer KG240A. And I believe it's 120 hertz, so not quite as fancy as everyone else's 144 hertz, but it gets the job done. 
As for the keyboard, I switch a lot, as you know, because, well, we review keyboards here and mice and headsets and all this other stuff. So I'm always changing up the keyboard and the headset. Keyboard here is a KBD75 with lubed Garon Ink Blacks with 205G0. It's got Durox stabs, EPBT keycaps with a Thok dot click. Spade Artisan keycap on the escape key and I've showed that plenty of times before and the cable I'm using is a Juju Cables just straight black braided cable nothing fancy no coils or anything For the mouse I'm currently using a Logitech MX Vertical mouse primarily for work and then for gaming I use the Cooler Master MM711 for Call of Duty and things like that my DAC amp is a shit full of three. It's a DAC amp combo and it gets the job done. It doesn't take up a ton of space and it powers my headphones, which is the Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pro's 80 ohms, which needs an amp to work properly. And then whenever I do need a close back pair of headphones, I'll use my HyperX Cloud 2s, which I just rave forever about their comfort. So I like them a lot. As for the microphone, I have a Blue Yeti mounted on a Rode PSA arm with the Blue Radius shock mount in white. So just a few things I have from back in the streaming days where I used to do a lot of streaming. But now we translate that into keyboard sound recordings, which does a job well too. The speakers definitely needs an upgrade and those are the Red Dragon Orpheus GS550 speakers that I got when doing the Red Dragon setup and you can watch that video here if you want to. The chair is the Sidiz TS50 and I got it because while well, I'm short and it works really well for my body, the desk is a sit-stand adjustable standing desk from FlexiSpot and they're one of the more affordable brands but not quite as oomph as some of the more expensive brands but it gets the job done. And as for the PC, there's really nothing special. It looks super outdated, but we are planning on upgrading uh, near the end of 2021 next year so I can edit some higher quality footage or get a new camera and be able to edit those footages. And that's it for the setup. I mean, I worked pretty hard on the cable management back in September in Snaz Up Your Setup episode two, and you can check that here if you want to as well. But this was a little bit different than what I'm used to doing. And if you want to submit your setup for a showcase, uh, go ahead and join our Discord server and do that. Part of me feels like this is some sort of weird ASMR thing because people keep asking me to read a book or do something where there's no background music. So I think this can be one of those things where I just sort of read out things and make a few comments here and there. And, and you can just listen to it nonsensically I, without paying attention, I suppose. But I don't know, it's up to you. I think it's sort of fun seeing what other people have in their setup. I love visiting the Reddit Battle Station subreddit. It's, it's sort of addicting in a not great way since it makes you want more. But anyways, that's it for the video. If you're interested in checking out any of the peripherals or PC parts or whatever, they're linked down below. My setup is definitely outdated, so I'm not gonna link to the majority of those things. I don't recommend you building the same PC as me because it's very old. But anyways, I'll remember to do a showcase episode when I get a new PC at the end of 2021, which is a really long way from now, but holding on till, you know, that moment because I hate editing and having my software crash on me, which really sucks. But I think this storytelling thing is going a little bit too far here. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.